Fintech companies have been advancing and improving the services of the financial sector for years now. To better understand how, I'm speaking to Massimo Ferrari, CEO and co-founder of AssetMax. Massimo, here at AssetMax, you give uh, customers a consolidated view over their wealth. How does it work and, and why is there a demand for it? The basic idea of consolidation is to be able to put different wealth sources and wealth pockets together to give a consolidated view of one people patrimony. If you want to take it to the extreme, a consolidation should also encompass insurance policies, real estates, all the non-bankables. What we focus at AssetMax is mostly on bankable assets. There is a high demand worldwide, not only in Switzerland, about consolidation because uh, it's very important to have a global uh, uh, overview of the assets that you uh, that you own, of course. Consolidation can be challenging because uh, you need to access the data and uh, that's probably the most uh, difficult and technologically speaking uh, challenging argument that you that you need to tackle when you produce a consolidating system. You might have uh, custodian banks which are typically the holdings of your bankable assets which do not have interfaces uh, electronical interfaces to deliver data. You have banks uh, which have very good interfaces, but still clients, they want to have a consolidation across all assets. Mm -hmm. So how do you do it then? What we do is uh, we focus primarily on banks which have a digital channel to download uh, assets. The reason behind that is that AssetMax is not only a consolidating system, it's a portfolio management system. The difference is that with a portfolio management system, you can also manage your assets, buy and sell uh, securities, for example. And for doing that, you really need a very good uh, data quality. It's not enough to load some positions data into a system because uh, you need much more than that in order to be able to trade on this portfolio. So that's why our primary focus is uh, consolidating uh, assets across banks which have a digital interface. You co-founded the Open Wealth Association together with the Simpools, uh, the cantonal banks of Zurich and St. Gallen. Now others joined, such as fintechs, but also banks such as UBS, PICTE, Julusberg, Credit Suisse. What's the aim of the Open Wealth Association? The main aim is to standardize the communication between uh, banks and third-party providers like AssetMax. Why do we need that? Because in Switzerland we have uh, many, many custodian banks and uh, most of them, <clears throat> they make their data available to third-party providers like AssetMax, but in different formats. It becomes very difficult for fintechs like AssetMax or Altu, or maybe an accounting fintech or a portfolio optimization fintech to prepare a product which can be really made av available to the whole market because it's so difficult to access the client data. Open wealth, uh, intends to provide a standard which has been already adopted by Zürich Cantonal Bank and St. Galler Cantonal Bank for delivering position and transactions data. But they want to go beyond that, so they want to standardize the way that customers are onboarded, they want to standardize the way how transactions are sent to custodians, and the roadmap is actually longer for the future. The uh, association had the quite uh, some success over the past uh, one and a half years. We now have uh, really many banks being part of the association. And what's interesting is that if a bank commits to be part of the association, they also commit to implement the interfaces sooner or later. So that gives actually the necessary momentum to the fintech uh, and finance uh, sector in Switzerland. Well, let's talk about the fintech and finance sector in Switzerland. H how big is the ecosystem here from, from your perspective and what is special about it? So I, I checked uh, recently the, the Swisscom fintech map, which is a very nice uh, summary of all uh, fintech startups, by the way, uh, in Switzerland. And it currently reports roughly 370 fintechs. So that's a huge ecosystem if you, if you think about that. So I think uh, Switzerland is a natural place for a, for a fintech to start the business because uh, you have so much know-how, you, you have so much experience, you have some, so many opportunities. Probably there is some skew towards wealth management fintechs because that's where Switzerland is very strong. 
still you see innovation in, in every field. Mm -hmm. Switzerland has some top uh, technical universities, so I would assume that you can also track talent coming out of these universities. Yes, that, that's true. So in our case, we, uh, we hire uh, many uh, new talents coming out of universities, but mostly in the technical field mm -hmm. not, uh, and not in the finance uh, sector. So we didn't uh, find or were not able to find uh, talents which are very skilled in both, mm -hmm. so finance and technical uh, aspects. But you can still bring it together somehow? Yes, you can hire skilled uh, university graduates and then send them to uh, another education program. And uh, luckily we have uh, through our universities, technical schools in Switzerland, we have a lot of offers for uh, continuing education. So academically speaking, uh, Switzerland is really strong in, uh, in, the, in the field of uh, fintechs and finance. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of opportunities to let your skills in the company grow. AssetMax has recently been uh, acquired by a Norwegian company in front. Uh, tell me more. That's true. Uh, roughly one month ago, we have been acquired after uh, one month of due diligence. Maybe to understand why, you need to understand the history of AssetMax uh, before. We, we founded the company in 2013, 14. We launched our product in 2016. We, we grew pretty fast in the, the Swiss market and today we are one of the leading wealth management solutions for independent wealth managers in Switzerland. I think Infront noticed that and um, they were looking for, on one hand, uh, our technology and on the other hand, on the Swiss market. And that made us a perfect uh, fit for their own strategy. The strategy for the coming years is to establish uh, Infront as a company which is active in the trading segment and in the wealth management so segment across Europe. Mm -hmm. And with Switzerland now, they have a very important uh, wealth management market. Great. Well, then I wish you good luck with everything. Thank you very much, uh, Massimo Ferrari. Thank you. Thank you.